New at 11, a firefighter is in the hospital tonight after responding to a house fire in Springfield. Thanks for joining us. I'm Molly Coick. James Brown is off. The fire happened on Garfield Avenue near East McCrate Avenue. New Center 7's Brandon Lewis has been on the scene for the last couple of hours. Brandon, you just talked with the battalion chief about the firefighter's condition. That's right, Molly. The firefighter has a back injury and was taken to the hospital this evening. We know that he's a 20 year veteran on this department. He got hurt at the home behind me and at this hour, still an active scene. I just want to show you what we're seeing right now. So it happened right at this blue home in front of us, 1129 Garfield Avenue. The battalion chief said this is where the fire started and the firefighter who was injured was in the attic. He was low on air coming down the steps and as he came down, he stepped on a hose and tripped and went down the steps and sustained a back injury. We want to take you to some video from earlier this evening. Springfield Fire Division Battalion Chief Jeremy Lynn told me they were alerted about this fire before 8 p.m. He said someone nearby let the people who live at 1129 Garfield Avenue know there was a fire in their home. Luckily, all the people inside made it out safely. The other side of the home, 1127 Garfield, ended up having some smoke and water damage, so the Red Cross is helping out the occupants of both homes. The battalion chief said he's hoping the firefighter who was hurt will get out of the hospital tonight, but it's never easy to hear about a firefighter injured. Well, that's always a high level of anxiety for us. Um, as soon as we uh, identified we had an injury, we requested a second alarm, which brought uh, additional resources and additional chief officer. Uh, I've called out our uh, support unit, Box 27, which is great. Um, they had 14 uh, members from the community show up and help us tonight. And no word yet on what caused the fire. I asked the battalion chief what happens now. He said an after action review, especially when a firefighter is injured, just going over what happened tonight so that they know what to do a little bit better the next time they get that call. Of course, when that uh, firefighter is let out of the hospital, we will let you know both on air and online. We're live in Springfield tonight. Brandon Lewis, News Center 7. Brandon, thank you. This is the second Springfield firefighter heard on the job in less than a month. As we've previously reported, the chief said, there said Rob Bass spent over a week in the hospital after he fell down the stairs fighting a house fire September 25th and he hurt his neck. Medics treated two other firefighters for minor injuries. Doctors released Bass from Miami Valley Hospital earlier this month.